hi ladies welcome back to my channel okay so um i just thought i'd kind of have a chat about how i was feeling <laughs> like i do with every single video um i've not been doing good wednesday was okay thursday which was yesterday was not a good day but i'm feeling like the medication that i'm taking is actually giving me more of a get up and go because there'd be no way that i would be sat in my car outside pets at home at quarter past nine in the morning um i feel like that aspect of me is getting better um but there is still obviously it's still so raw it's still so raw and i've had lovely lovely messages one that hit in particular said to me ivy didn't know that she wasn't meant to be an adult dog like she didn't know that her life was cut short like she just had the memories of when she was young she didn't know and that made me feel better because i didn't actually think of it like that because obviously i know as you know being a dog owner for so long they get older and then when they get put down when they're older you can kind of justify it because you've had lovely memories and you've you know you know their back legs were starting to go or they started to be in pain or whatever but it's just like the guilt it's just it just didn't seem like normal it didn't seem right to put down such a young dog and it didn't seem right that she had to get so sick and it, it wasn't right that she was sick when I got her um and of course you blame yourself for everything don't you just like you know I could have done this I could have done that but ultimately it wouldn't have been good for her to be sick her whole life and imagine if I'd have put her through all those horrible operations and then two months down the line there being more blood in her poo and then we have to go through the whole thing all over again throwing up blood like I don't know I feel I know that my opinion will be different to others and that's okay I think we have to respect each other's opinions when it comes to animals and lives and things because some people would be okay with you know their animal going through all of that but the recovery period would be so so painful and I just I don't know I battle with myself every single day did I do the right thing and everyone's telling me like Corinth stop beating yourself up you did the right thing like bleeding and throwing up is not a normal dog thing like the vet said she's probably massively anemic as well because she's been bleeding for well the seven weeks that you've had her and then potentially before that with the breeder but they obviously didn't tell you it's just really hard um and I'm trying not to rush myself into healing. Got my beautiful girl here with me. I'm gonna take her to pets at home, get her some bones and treat her. She's been so good. But yeah, that's just my feelings at the moment. And I look back at my other videos and this is why I make them because it's not so much about making videos for other people. Like this is my sadness diary, shall we say. And I'm hoping to look back at these videos in like six months and be like, wow. Look how far you've come, girl. Because you were fucking sad then. Like look how sad you are right now. But I feel in six months it won't be as raw as it is right now and I've just got to feel my feelings and if I need to cry I need to cry and if I need to go out and drink loads of alcohol and dance and just try to block out 
the voices in my head saying, but did you do the right thing though? But, but did you though? Did you though? Um, if I need to go and do that, then I will do that unapologetically. I went out Wednesday. Um, I was feeling okay. Matt and I went, um, it was his day off. I canceled my work shift because there was no way I could emotionally be there for my patients at all. Uh, I went to, I messaged, I emailed work and they were understandable. They were understand, yeah, they were understanding. Um, I, we went to get Matt's haircut. We went into town and got some puzzles from the charity shop. And cause like puzzles is my new thing now. Like I'm a new puzzle per, like I'm a new puzzle person, which sounds like really old and boring, but it actually keeps the voices in my head from being like, let's think about this over here for a minute. You know, do you remember that sadness from like Monday? And as well, like my, my brain wants me to remember her on the table with a little cut no i can't i can't i can't do it. it but my brain is wanting me to relive that it's wanting me to i don't know why so when i'm sat doing my puzzle peace and quiet i my mind is active and looking at the pieces and working stuff out i think it's actually really good for your brain as well it's like um exercising your brain and it's actually really good and really healing for me and i didn't think that i would be a puzzle person i thought i'd be a puzzle person at 75 years old not at 33 years old um yeah. so we did a puzzle we bought some puzzles uh then we went out for lunch which is a completely rare thing to do like we never go out for lunch because I'm like, 50 quid on lunch, that is a shit ton of money. We could go to Aldi and get like two fillet steaks for a tenner. Like. But I was like, no, damn it. Kids are at school. Let's just sit across the table from each other. We don't have to talk about anything in particular. Just sit. Salad, eat the salad. And we were so full by like, so if you saw my Instagram, like we got so much food, and then, uh, and then I was like, oh my god, I'm so full, and I was like, oh my god, me too. Like I was really looking forward to, to pudding, but like I don't think I can manage it. I was like, no, neither can I. <laughs> we had to like take the the uh, onion rings home in like a doggy bag because it was like, <laughs> stuffed. Um, but yeah. Then I took the kids swimming with Matt, and I was so proud of them. <clears throat> I was watching Harry do dolphin and. Charlie was managing to like put his face in the water now and he's like not scared of that because he used to be so petrified of putting his face in the water and getting face on his water getting water on his face and washing his hair and now he's just come so far um and then on top of that Olivia's doing so well she's putting her face in the water and she's doing so good and they all have swimming lessons once a week on a Wednesday and they're like 15 minutes apart so Olivia's in at like half past four till five. Charlie's in quarter to five till quarter past five. And Ch Harry's in five till half five. So it works out really nicely, especially if there's like both of you to like get one in the shower, get one out and then get another one, chuck them in the shower. Like, like a well-oiled machine we are. Um, yeah. And then actually after the harvester, I went for a nap with Matt. We had a really good nap. So the kids picked the kids up from school, took them swimming. Uh, came home, got ready, and went out and drank vodka, but only vodka, because I don't do shots anymore. I'm not a shot girl anymore. Um, it was nice. I chatted to a few people about it. Um, there was a couple of people that said, Oh my god i saw on your instagram but like i didn't want to message you and like make it worse like, i didn't know what to say i was like oh like that's absolutely fine like and they were saying really kind words to me and it was nice it was nice but i don't know but then i think to myself well 
if I had to do it all over again, would I make the same decision? And the answer is yes. So I can tell myself that I made the right choice. But it's hard because I know this phrase, like, you've got to be cruel to be kind. But, like, a lot of the time she was fine and, like, bouncing around and whatever. But then they would be the blood. She would, like, squeal sometimes before she pooped. And then that blood, like, she was so dehydrated that night, that day. She was so sick. And I know people that have gone through, like, putting their older dogs down. And they say it's so intermittent. Like, one day they'll be okay. They'll be able to get out of bed without pain. And some days they won't be able to get out of bed without, like, crying in pain because of their back legs. And then they're like, you know, the day I took them, they were actually having a good day. And I felt awful because I could have been like, well, there's nothing wrong with them today. I'm sure some of you guys can relate to that. But there's a lot of things around the house that remind me of Ivy. Um, I need to go get a new poo bag holder. Just something really simple because I've got this one. And it reminds me of her because she has a jumper that matches. And I can't keep looking at it every time I take Holly. And I know it's just something silly like that, but I just, I, I can't, I can't keep looking at that poo bag holder. And I know it sounds so stupid and it was like six pounds, but like I need, I, I'm gonna leave it in the car so we can just like use it on dog walks. And um, like when we take the dog out and stuff, we can just like use the bags. But for day to day, like I need, I need a different one because I, I can't. I can't look at pictures. I've had to take them off my Instagram. I'm just really struggling with that aspect of it at the moment. So we're going to go to pets at home. Everyone's going to fuss you. You're going to pretend like you don't get any attention. <laughs> She's going to lay on her back. I mean, there is, there is a kind of silver lining. The fact that we put her to stud going back a few weeks ago. Um, so there is a potential she could be pregnant and when I was telling the kids that she'd passed away Harry burst into tears straight away was full of sadness Charlie was very like in denial so he was like no because they can give her medicine like they they can give her medicines and when I said that she was too poorly for the medicines he was like yeah, but Holly needs a friend. Like, we need to we need to get her a new friend. If she has puppies, like, we need to keep a puppy. Like, he's very, matter of fact, like, very straight talking. Like, and then that's when the tears came afterwards. And he was almost like a kind of bargaining, I guess. He'd gone through the bargaining stage before the sadness bit. Um, yeah. I can't even think that far ahead at the moment. I'm still over here in the grieving like I'm getting a scan um of Holly Holly's belly I think on like the 29th of April so I'll let you guys know um if she's pregnant or not but um at the moment I just can't like I've told a couple of people that she's she maybe pregnant and they're like oh because then maybe you could like keep a puppy but I'm like I guess maybe it's not gonna bring Ivy back but I just can't even think, I can't even think that far ahead at the moment at all. I just, I just need to go through the grieving process. That's what I need to do. And some days are really good. And some days are really bad. And yesterday was a bad day. Wednesday was a good day. I've just had the money through from Callie's insurance and I've just been paid. Because I worked like so much last week when Matt was off. And I released like all my timesheets because I needed all the money. Um, so I had a nice big fat paycheck this week. So that, that was good. Because um, my my electric bills decided uh, to be £600. And they want £300 of it this month. So that's nice. Because originally they put my bills at about 131 a month. But it wasn't covering all of our usage for some reason um 
because we've got like the chameleon tank which takes heat got an uh, incubator full of eggs at the moment that takes heat it's like constant heat a uh, fish tank um heaters and stuff like that and obviously my hair straighteners and my hair dryer and the um air fryer and the microwave you know like quite like instant heat um is the most expensive and yeah i've got all of those so we were using more than 131 pounds but because my payments stayed the same for some reason they were like oops you've accrued 600 pounds you need to pay it we're going to change your monthly repayments to 300 and something starting from next month i was like oh so i need to like ring them and change that and <laughs> sort that out because uh 300 pounds is a lot of money to pay for electric at this moment in time so and that would be like nearly all my wages for that week like gone so we're gonna go to pets at home we're gonna get some fast we? yeah. and i'll let you know what the future holds thank you so much for all your lovely messages i'm trying to respond to everyone but sometimes i need to like take a break so i'll do it like i'll take sort of like half an hour to like message everyone and then i need to take a break and then like i'll come back to it another time because it's a lot, but I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.